one of the problems presently occupying gemologists, as well as others in the gemstone trade, is the precise definition of the emerald. Other varieties of beryl have almost identical chemical compositions, and they can only be distinguished from each other by minute amounts of color causing elements. In most of the literature dealing with gemology, the accepted opinion is that the emerald is a barrel of medium to dark green color, caused by chromium. This definition appears in a number of variations and is especially emphasized in the British Trade Descriptions Act. Many gemological scientists around the world tend to accept this definition. However, they all emphasize the fact that the barrel must be of a saturated green color. The discovery of many new emerald mines and of new elements that cause color in emeralds such as canadium and iron, intensified the argument regarding this subject. That present there are differences in the approach followed by certain world-famous gemological centers. The gem wizard suggestion is as follows, as long as the dominant color observed by the iron, as light as it may seem, is green, and not blue or another color, the barrel can be classified as an emerald. The dark stone, that unarguably has green in it, but whose ruling color is blue or another color, should not be classified as an emerald, even when the absorption spectrum shows chromium. Such a stone will be categorized as another variety of beryl. According to historical precedent, in order for a beryl to be classified as an emerald, signs of chromium must be found. Even if other color factors present in the stone, such as canadium or iron, are predominant, it is necessary to prove the presence of chromium in order to define it as emerald.